Cub Cuties. Today, we're going to make an awesome work of art based on a science experiment. So, it's one of these surprise drawings. We're gonna draw beakers or a beaker, and then boom, you open it. Okay, boom. So here, we're gonna put an onomatopoeia. I wrote it here, onomatopoeia. Onomatopoeia is a word that sounds like what it is, like boom, sounds like a little explosion. Crack, sounds like a crack. So, um, these were commonly used in comic books and comic strips, still are. Um, and it reminds me of the artist called Roy Lichtenstein, who used comic books for his artwork, as you can see. And even this one right here is an onomatopoeia like what we're going to use. So you can make your onomatopoeia look like that. Pop. That was a good one. So to start, we need to fold our paper. So you're going to fold it up by about a third. Crease it. Then you open it back up. Fold this down. And then you're going to fold this up leaving a couple of inches. Okay. And then that will give you, boom. Okay, so I'll show you again real quick. You've got your paper. You're going to fold it up by a third. Then you're gonna open that back up, fold this down, and then you're gonna fold it up, leaving an inch or two here. And you'll end up with a fold like that. Okay? And then you can use either side. I think this side is, is better for the sizes. So I'm going to use this side. And you can use beaker like this, or there's another type. You can make something like this on there with several. Um, I'm going to go ahead and start making my beaker. So two straight lines, then a rectangle on the top with a line here showing that it actually goes across, then down, I'm going to make mine this type of shape down here, but you can make yours however you want, straight down a little bit, and then diagonal line, and then a curve connecting this at the bottom, and a little curve going up to show the bottom. Then here, curve going down, curve going up to show the top of the liquid. Then you can add as many bubbles as you would like. You can even put some little shiny spots on them if you want. Maybe an accent line here on the side. And that's it. Then at the top, you can make a little cloud. Boom, 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 three lines. And then we'll work on the inside. This is where it goes boom. I kind of like this one by Lichtenstein, so I'm gonna try to make it look like that more. Um, so I'm gonna put, it's a little easier to make bubble letters if you write it. And pencil first, I might, maybe better make it A lot of times they have them overlapping, so I'll have mine overlapping. And then you can go back and erase those pencil lines. Um, I'm gonna do these big zigzags coming out like he did on his. On my other example, I made more of a cloud around it. On this other example, I made small zigzags. This one I'm making large zigzags. Yeah, he did like some coming out from behind that he then went back and did in a different color when he colored it. That looks pretty cool. Okay. Then, then he did like But you want to be careful not to go below that crease where you can see it before you've opened it. So I'm kind of right on the edge there. Okay, 
So then I would just go in and color it with all of my markers um, or crayons or whatever I have. I think this is a good application of markers. Um, if you do have watercolor, then this is a good chance to do um, the wet on wet technique. So I'll just show you that real quick if you have um, watercolors. So I would color in where the liquid is supposed to be, just, and I used regular marker. It, this of course works better if you use permanent marker and then it wouldn't bleed like this is bleeding. Um, but I can still put some watercolors in there like that. And then you just, where you have the water, you just, and I'm just picking up a lot of color there. I'm picking up as much color as I can. And just loading that brush with dense color. And then I'm just touching it onto the water. And then it'll just bleed into that water over time. Okay. And again, if you don't like this bleeding of the marker, then you would use permanent marker and then it wouldn't bleed like that. Okay, and then I would just color the rest of it. All right, I hope you have fun with this project and I can't wait to see what you come up with. Bye.